Hey there guys and gals. Today we're diving deep into the seven sneaky culprits that are wrecking havoc on your liver. I'm bringing this to your attention because a ton of folks are unknowingly loading up on these liver-busting villains and it's time to shine a light on him. Remember, your liver's health is like the barometer of your overall well-being. Your skin? Yep, it's like a mirror reflecting what's going on inside that liver of yours. So let's jump right in and unveil this rogue's gallery of liver destroyers. And one, say no to soy protein isolates. So, ever wonder how they extract that healthy protein from soy? Well, they use a bunch of nasty chemicals like hexane, which is like a petroleum-based sidekick to soy protein isolates. Not good for your liver. I'm talking diet shakes, protein bars, even veggie burgers. Always play detective and read those labels. If soy protein isolates are in the mix, best keep that stuff off your plate, too. Fructose. More like fatty liver coats. Oh, the fructose saga. High fructose corn syrup, fruit fructose, and sneaky agave nectar. They're all villains in this liver ruining plot. Picture this. Fructose isn't just metabolized by any old cell. Your liver's on the front lines breaking it down. Result? Fatty liver galore. Especially if you're chugging that high fructose corn syrup. Even that innocent-looking agave nectar. It's packing fructose too, my friends. Don't be fooled by low glycemic index. Your liver's got its hands full. Three, hold the vegetable fats, please. Now, vegetable fats sound like they're straight from the garden, but don't be fooled. They're more like processed omega-6 bombs, causing inflammation and chaos. We're talking corn oil, soy oil, canola, cottonseed oil ale. They're fragile, oxidized, and gemotainted troublemakers. Remember, we ditched the good old saturated fats for these villains a few decades back. And guess what? Inflammation City. Opt for omega-3s like sardines and salmon to save the day. Four. Whey protein powder drama. Time to talk about that powdered protein stuff. So, whey protein's pulled out of milk with a lot of fat trimming going on. But here's the kicker. Concentrated doesn't always mean good. It's like a trouble package for your liver. Inflammation. Toxic markers. You name it. Remember my high school days? Yep. Downing protein powder landed me in Sickville. That's not all. Maltodextrins usually crash in the party here, too. 5. Maltodextrin, the sugar monster? Let's talk maltodextrin, a sugar that's even worse than the good old white stuff. It's synthetic and skyrockets your glycemic index like there's no tomorrow. Worse news. It's the first guest on the ingredient list of many protein powders. Sneaky, right? It's hiding in keto foods post-workout gels, and even your vitamin pills. You're feeding your liver a fattening feast with, without even knowing it. Six, aflatoxins, liver's archenemy. Here's a heavyweight villain, aflatoxins. These nasties come from fungus, and they're all about ruining your liver's day. Found in peanuts and corn, these buggers are carcinogenic and nasty for your liver's well-being. If you're a peanut lover, go for Valencia peanuts. They're drier and less likely to carry this toxic load. 7. Miss G, a hidden villain. Last but not least, we have this sneaky MSG lurking in so many foods like a flavor-boosting ninja. It's linked to fluid retention, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. The real problem, it's not just salty, it's toxic to your liver. You'll spot it in fast food, Chinese dishes, and even your innocent-looking cottage cheese. Now, you might be wondering about red meat. 
Grass-fed, quality red meat's not an issue for your liver, unless you're grappling with an iron problem. And don't forget about those cruciferous champs like kale, broccoli, and arugula. They're liver superheroes. All right, champs, now that you're in the loop about these liver ruiners, don't fret. Stay tuned for my next video where I spill the beans on how to revive and repair your liver. Catch you on the flip side.